Welcome to this Alium U video, part of the Smiler series. Today we review the inferior alveolar nerve block. This procedure is indicated for anesthesia of the mandibular teeth found on the lower jaw. Risks of this procedure are minimal and rare. Most commonly, the anesthesia is suboptimal. Rarer side effects could be a temporary one-sided facial paralysis if the facial nerve is accidentally anesthetized. Infection or bleeding are also possible, but uncommon. The inferior alveolar nerve runs along the medial aspect of the mandible and then travels through it. It provides sensation for all teeth on that side. By numbing the inferior alveolar nerve, you aim to deaden the sensation of its entire distribution. If performed properly, you will achieve anesthesia of all of the mandibular teeth ipsilateral to the nerve. In this case, all teeth marked in red will be numbed by this procedure. There are two landmarks to identify. This is the coronoid notch. It is palpable on the inside of the mouth, just lateral to the lower teeth, as shown here. The other landmark is the pterygomandibular raphe, a ligamentous band between the upper and lower molars, shown here in the model. In this photo, the pterygomandibular raphe is marked. The location where the coronoid notch is expected to be felt is also indicated. The site of injection is between these two landmarks, marked with an X on the image. The following items are needed to perform this block. A 10cc syringe, an 18 gauge needle to draw up the anesthetic, and a 25 or 27 gauge needle to inject the anesthetic. Lidocaine or bupivacaine can be used for this block. Bupivacaine will last for many hours longer than lidocaine, and for this reason may be desirable. Here we have a 3D model of the procedure. After identification of the landmark and the site of injection on the patient, introduce the needle until it makes contact with the bone. Retract the needle slightly, aspirate to ensure you are not in the blood vessel, and inject the anesthetic. The same procedure is shown from another angle to highlight the anatomy. The nerve running just inside the mandible is the inferior alveolar nerve. Note the nearby vein and artery, highlighting the importance of aspiration. In this video, the physician feels the coronoid notch with his thumb. He is able to visualize the pterygomandibular raphe and can select the injection site. He introduces the needle, making contact with the mandible. He withdraws and aspirates. He injects the anesthetic. We hope you enjoyed this AliMU video on the inferior alveolar nerve block. Check out more great modules on AliMU.com.